What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig, and we're going to be going over the charts as usual. Could it be a lot worse than people think for Bitcoin? As you guys know, I think the bottom's going to be in 2023, but we'll talk about it. Um, one other thing I want to say, I apologize for not making the members video yesterday. I will be doing it today a couple hours after this video is released. So make sure you watch out for that. Make sure your notification bells are on. Uh, before we begin, make sure you scroll down, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below if you have any questions or just a comment or your thoughts down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys got to say. Also, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video. One more thing I want to talk about before we get into it. So far, the pre-markets are down, but we're going to take a look at all the the Dow Jones, the DXY, and Bitcoin. We're going to look from the bigger time frame down to the smaller. A lot of people always say, yeah, that's the same video as yesterday. Well, that's when you know you're watching a channel that's actually got a grip on the markets and seeing what's going on. Your chart should not change every single day from, oh, I'm super bullish to, oh, I'm super bearish. Um, you need to stay calm. Look at what's going on in the markets. And if you're looking at them correctly, then you'll have validation and invalidation points. Uh, that will help you navigate through the markets and that's what we do on this channel and we track the market so if you're watching daily every day then you get a grip of how to uh, navigate the markets right so let's get into it so this is my dow jones chart as you guys know i think the dow jones next big stop is going to be that 25 8 range now i think this is obviously going to be over time it's not going to happen in a day uh, just like all our other measured moves, they come into fruition, but they take time, right? So again, we're navigating the markets here. So we talked about this yesterday. The highest I see us going here is about 32,250 range. Um, maybe not quite that high, maybe 32,1 or so. If we break above that and get support, then we could be looking for another leg up in Bitcoin and everything else. But let's take a look at what's going on, right? So the DXY, DXY is still looking bullish, guys. I told you look for a bounce around this 106. If this was to break, 105 and the 200 EMA would be our next support. But so far, it's looking pretty damn bullish. Um, let's take a look at Bitcoin. So this is the monthly. Then we'll go to the weekly, then the daily, and then the four hours. So we can track the markets, right? So anyways, let's take a look at where we're at. We said this 55 EMA would be massive resistance. If we start opening and closing monthlies above this 24.5 range, then you might be able to get bullish up to that 33,000 range. But as you guys know, I drew this trend line in the RSI. We're looking for a close of this first. If we close above, bullish. If we close below this trend line, remaining bearish. That's the monthly. Here's the weekly. Um, let me get the RSI off there so we can see. So you guys know we have measured move targets here, but one thing I pointed out the other day, and I'm gonna show you guys again, every time we break the trend, we measured this as a flag pull, this being the bear flag, that gave us our target of this right here, the 17.7. If you guys watch my channel, you know we were calling that way before it happened. And then if we do that again, if we come down and break this bottom one, could be around that 7,000 range, somewhere in there. We'll get into more detail in the smaller time frames. So what would invalidate this? Well, a weekly close above around 23.6 area. A weekly close above that would invalidate this, right? Uh, so there's some other measured moves we got here. This first one being just a measured move of the breakdown of this channel. If it was to happen next week, or before then around 1524 would be the first target then the second target you can see the yellow line i have in here looking like a rising broadening wedge right and if that was to happen within the next week or so that gets us a 1425 uh, then we have again the flag pull look at this as a bear flag could get us down to around that 72 right well let's take a look at the daily this daily chart we tracked all the way through um we called the top here, called the bottom here. I thought it would go a little bit lower. Look, said to look for ABC correction to get everyone bullish to call in 100K again, which everyone did. And I called the top up here. Uh, you could check my video December 2nd where we made the Bitcoin to Amazon comparison chart that is playing out beautifully. 
Let's take a look at what's going on here. So you can see we keep getting rejected up here at this top trend line in the RSI. Let me get that out of the way and look at what's going on here. So why was I calling for rejection at 24.3 area? Well, because that was our old target from the breakdown of here, this rising broadening wedge. We called this back in November and said if this broke, we would look for 24.3. And if 24.3 broke, that would become resistance. 90% of the time when our, our measured move targets hit and then go below, the, the old support turns into new resistance. And that's where we're at here. Now, let's take a look at the measured move looking at this as a bear flag. I'm going to show you another interesting chart at the end of the video. So make sure and we're going to talk about this right here and a smaller fractal forming. So this was if we, we that's the wrong one. So if we take this from the break of the trend up here, right? Let me get this out of the way so you can see it. Here was the trend break. We start it here, go down to the bottom, that being a bear a flag pull, bring it over to where it broke down. That gets us around that 70, 75. So between seven and 8,000 is the target of that, right? Now, if we take this from the top, not from the trend break, but from the top, looking at this as a flag pull, this is absolute worst case scenario. I don't think it's going to happen, but it, anything's possible. Need to prepare for it. But that gets all the way down to about 1880. That is a possibility, not a guarantee. Um, and I'm not spreading FUD, I'm showing your possibilities, just like I've showed your possibilities of this dump and this dump, and everyone called it FUD. Well, um, if you wanna call it FUD, you're basically probably just holding and hoping and wishing it goes up. Um, a lot of people miss the opportunity of shorts all along through here. Um, I told you guys where to short yesterday in my video, you can go back and check it, we'll talk about that. But we're getting rejected right at that old board. Now, if we break above this and get support here, then we could go as high as that 33, but we do have more targets um, around 27 if this was the break, but it's not looking like it's going to break. And does that mean it goes straight down? No. See, it could take all the way till you know, towards the end of the year and look something like this. I just drew this in just to give you an example of how the measured moves work. They don't mean straight down, although they could go straight down. That doesn't mean it has to go straight down. So anyways, that's what I'm looking at here. If you guys are interested in trading, check out Prime XBT, by far my favorite exchange. Links are down below. You can use my promo code SAVVY50. That'll get you up to a $7,000 bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. Now, let's take a look at what's going on here. So, the same thing, all our measured moves. Yesterday, if you follow me on Twitter, if you don't, I suggest you give me a follow. It's at CryptoSavvy1. Um, the links down below, there are a lot of fakes out there, so use my Crypto Savvy link in the description below that will get you, make sure you're not on a scammers. So anyways, I posted this yesterday talking about if we get the rejection here, and we were at like 23.6, I think, when I posted this. I said, look for a rejection here. If we break back down in here, this is what we talked about in yesterday's video. I said, if we broke this 24.3 range, that would be a good spot to short, and then put your stops just above here, probably around 23.6, um, and that would stop you out if you break back out. But for right now, we are back inside the channel. That's not a good thing for Bitcoin. We can come all the way back up, retest that 23.4 area before coming down, depending on what traditional markets do today. Um, so anyways, so what happens next? What are our next targets if this breaks? Well, the next bounce area is probably gonna be somewhere around in here, as long as we don't break up. So look for a 21.5, somewhere in there may get a bounce back up to that 23 or so, and then continue down making an ABC right here. And then what's the area to watch for a break? Depending on when it hits this line, but let's say 19.5 just to be safe. But if it was to come down quicker, obviously it would be lower. But a break of this bottom trend line, then our next target is the obvious target of the old low, 17.5. Then let's take our next target. Let's say we break over here um, on the 28th, right? If we do that, that gets us target down to about that 15.5 range, somewhere in there. Uh, but again, if it takes longer, this target's gonna be higher, but only if we break this 17.5, right? Um, I also showed you in yesterday's video that we were coming up. Remember, we talked about this not quite touching the trend line. This one came up, touched the trend line, guys. That's what we were waiting for. Alternate touches, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. 
then bottom again. And I told you we could range in this area for a while, and that would be the slow decline here. Now, what's the next target if that 15 seven breaks? Then we start looking for that 75 to you know, seven to eight thousand dollar range. Um, and again, it doesn't mean it happens in a day. It could look definitely, you know, come down. We could come down here, come back up. This could take time, something like this. You know, by laying out over time. That's that's what we do. Like I said, track the markets. And we've been doing a damn good job of it so far. Make sure you give it a follow and smash those thumbs up if you haven't already. So this is the other chart I wanted to show. This is what I've talked about yesterday. Um, we talked about it in the other chart, but I just drew this up to make it easier. We had this fake out right here of the break out of this channel, right? And then just continuation down. I said to watch out for that here. And that's exactly what happened. Broke back in. Once we break back in this channel, unless we break out a back above this 23.6 range, then this is most likely going to just be a continuation down and be another formation just like this one. Um, yeah, so and where would that bring us? Well, the first big target would be somewhere, like I said, looking at this as a flagpole, this is a bear flag, depending on where it breaks, down to the mid $7,000 range. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, in a couple hours, I will tweet it out that I'm going to put up a members-only video. And if you want to join, the link is down below. Just hit the join button. We're going to go over whatever charts the members want to go over. Um, so. I'll see you then. If you are a member, if not, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Take it easy, guys. I'm out.